Welcome back to Take 2, everybody, to uh, Ryan Hansen's uh, Take 2 of uh, playing Euro Truck Simulator and doing many things here. Uh, so like I was saying earlier, if unless you uh, missed it, but I'm, I'm sure you didn't because only only a couple million people watch this, I know, and they're all they're all uh, very, very, uh, you know, very, what's the word? Shoot. Anyway, let's forget about that. Anyway. So here's my situation right now. Right now, I'm a level 13. And I'm doing a special transport delivery from... to... And I've got... Apparently, it says I've got 9 hours and 49 minutes left. But that... that No, that's not even close. So I'm gonna... We're gonna jump in the cab here. And I'm gonna show you how this works. All right. All right, here we are. So this is me here, and so I, it looks like I've got my engine off. Let's turn it on here. Turn on my lights. All right. Uh, looks like I got my mirror there in the top right corner, right over here. Okay. Uh, got my nav right here, and uh, yeah, it looks like it's pouring rain. I'm gonna jump in the cab. All right. Disage the. Disengage the parking brake. Move my mic so it's closer. And we're gonna we're gonna head off here. This is a uh, full throttle right now. <laughs> we are carrying some very heavy heavy cargo, as you can see in the uh, top right mirror. Uh, it is it is overhanging quite a bit actually. And it's it's very nerve wracking. Also, if I crash into the car in front of me, which is my like escort car, there's one in the front, and one in the back. It will effectively like cancel my entire like mission, and then I've got to restart or I got to pay like nineteen thousand dollars, which it's not very fun at all. If you know what I mean, uh, <laughs> it's not it's not very fun at all. But uh, as you can see here, it says we've got an hour and five minutes left here. <laughs> to the up watching it rev up there all right I'm gonna turn on the retarder here we go as you can see right there it's a, a police car making sure we're safe of course <laughs> no actually though it the police cars and uh like escort vehicles are all over the place in this game just for me you're like not just for me but like just for this mission here we don't actually have to stop anywhere like for at, at all for any reason while I'm doing this mission and that's that's because I guess it's some very high quality very 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 valuable cargo that needs to be transported to I don't know what did it say it was like Einstein Schoenberg or whatever but yeah so it's like it's really really nerve-wracking a bit as you can see on the uh on the screen there, my uh, steering wheel is like twitching out a little bit. I don't know what's wrong with it. I am using a real steering wheel, but uh, doesn't seem to be very happy right now. This is full throttle. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is full throttle. Let's turn on my brights to annoy. Yes. As you can see, there are three windshield wipers here in this. Uh, this a cab, which I think is really cool because you don't really see those at all anywhere, and so that's pretty cool for me at least. Let's turn off my braid so I don't get a fine. We're gonna shift over here. So what happens when you're like changing lanes is the person in the front will have you slow down, not till you stop, but like slow down, and then the back car will move over to the lane where you're supposed to be and then stop so no other cars can get in the way, and then the front car will merge over and then you'll merge over so then there's absolutely no chance of anyone like touching anything so that's that's pretty cool it's really pretty cool actually <laughs> i don't know i'm trying to find things to talk about um hey so uh elon musk right elon musk is pretty cool <laughs> hey look 
in my navigation there, you, you can see the, uh, oh, now it's gone, but you can you could just see the uh, flag of our destination there. Since we've only got 34 minutes left, that's like no time at all, so we're just gonna quickly head on over there, and, uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna do stuff, guys. Alright, turning on my retarder. Retarder is sort of like an engine brake. I, actually, it might be an engine brake, I guess I don't know. But what it does is that it saves your, like, brake pads from, like, catching on fire and stuff on uh, trucks. Which, I don't know if that's simulated in the game. But, uh, retarders are really nice because the brakes are really sensitive. And and they're just kind of fun to play with, actually. Alright, easing off the retarder now so we can get a nice coast. Maybe next mission we'll do something that's on the left-hand side, just so that it's a little more fun there. Alright. Did you know, actually doing this mission, if you, like, merge off to, like, get some gas, it will actually, like, stop the entire mission and be like, Ah, uh, you need to go back to the last saved point, or pay $20,000. And then it's like, I, I don't know, like, who would pay the $20,000 to, like, not do the mission? Like, I think that's kind of funny. Alright, looks like we're almost here now. So, as you can see... Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Okay. And those cars do that all the time. It's actually really hazardous, and <laughs> it should be fixed, please. There's a little guy over there. Hello. It's like he's telling us not to go that way. All right. Full rock, full lock, right? Go to the outside view. And you can see this trailer here. It's actually, like, moving the rear wheels so that it actually, you know, stays sort of on the road, which is actually pretty cool, but I've noticed that, like, sometimes when you're going around, like, roundabouts or stuff, is that they actually, like, overcorrect, and then they hit stuff that's around you, which is kind of disappointing, I'll be honest, but it's like, you know what, I'll take it. <laughs> I feel like if, if we ever do, like, Truck Simulator, like, next stream, because I don't actually have it in, like, American Truck Simulator on the stream, like, next time we do it, and I've, I have posted a video on the DLC for heavy hauling for, uh, American Truck Simulator, but, uh, they've got the longest trailers, and they are so massively big, they're actually, like, insane, like, how big they are, and you have to take the widest turns, and it's, it seems, like, so illegal, and it probably is, but, like, oh my gosh, it's insane, actually. Alright, let's try not to go off the road here. It says we're three minutes away from our destination, <laughs> but you can obviously see it here, where are we going? Not that way, okay. I've noticed that in this game, I like, I put my, like, foot to the floor a lot. Alright. Oh, shoot, shoot. Hang on, I think I'm hitting on the side here. Oh, so close. Jeez. Sorry, I hit the mic again there. Ah, okay. There we go. Alright, looks like we're turning right. Like, you don't realize how wide this trailer is. Okay, okay. So I think here might be a good example of something. So I'm turning right here. But then you can see this trailer is, like, correcting, so it's moving left. Sometimes when you're in, like, a like not very wide intersection, it'll just literally go straight into the wall. Which isn't very fun at all. Yes. So we're not going to auto park because we are fully capable of parking ourselves here. Plus, it'd be kind of cheating, you know? In other, in any other game, I think they'd be classified as hacks. <laughs> Although, I wouldn't know, because I don't play, like, gamery games. Just just these ones. Alright, we're almost pulled up. There we go. Turn on the parking brake. Turn off the engine. Kill the lights. How do, okay. Alrighty. We're going to hit T. All right, there we go. We consumed 171.9 liters of petrol. Guys, like this is this is, that's kind of crazy actually. That's so much fuel. So much fuel. And nobody really like notices. Like it's so much fuel, but no one really, you know, like cares. It's kind of like it's like, "Oh, well, it's you know, it's it's them, whatever." Anyway, let's choose another one of these jobs here, preferably something smaller. Uh, let's try to find one somewhere over here. Hello. 
It's literally the same jab, but this one's like $1,000 more. Let's take this one. But yeah. So this is that little starting screen you got here. It's it's pretty cool actually. So you can see like the like the lamps on the side there, and you can see the massive piece of cargo compared to like actual humans. Like the scale is looks pretty good actually, but like oh my gosh, this thing's massive. And as we like as we uh, come out of this, uh, I don't know what I call this like yard here. You're gonna see like uh, television vans and police cars like blocking the path, and it's actually pretty cool. It's actually it's actually really cool. <laughs> so it looks like we're in a Scania uh, V8 here. All right, so here is the instructions for this. Uh, don't do that. 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 Just this is how you change lanes and don't fail. Otherwise, we will find you many dollars. All right. So if you'll notice, we are on the wrong side of the cabin. What? Yeah, we are. It's so fun. All right. It's it's like all right. Oh, yeah. All right. So I just hid my uh, navigation navigation light there. Uh yes. Uh, American Truck Simulator is pretty similar to this. Otherwise, the uh. You know the hoods are longer and they've got a much like smaller wheel span but other than that it's actually it's actually pretty uh, similar but they're both really fun though I had uh, I actually had American Truck Simulator first before this one and I spent way too much time on it but I, I enjoyed it very much it is well worth my purchase this one here is like all sorts of like crazy DLCs for and they're everywhere oh no all right hang on so this is what I meant that's what I meant earlier. See that? This trailer, it like overcompensates and then goes straight into the wall. So. Uh, shoot. We gotta like reverse engineer this entire thing here. Alright, here we go. It's beeping at me because it doesn't want me to hit the rear escort. Probably because it's freaking out because I'm backing out. Alright. Let's try this. But that was a perfect example. I just went straight into that side there. And it's so counterintuitive because in like American Truck Simulator, you have to take the widest turns. But here, it just does it in the back. It's actually like really, really, really cool. But at the same time, it's <laughs> it's kind of annoying. All right, that beeping you're hearing is actually the uh, it's actually the air pressure warning because it's I've been braking and stopping and starting so much that it needs to actually gain air pressure again. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, we are in we are in Great Britain, everybody. It's it's pretty cool. Let's turn on the wipers. All right, hang on a sec. Oof. Oof. Um, hang on. I just have to. Hang on. Be right back. All right, I'm back. And to uh, answer your question earlier, Nick Schiller Photography, um, Peyton, or whatever his uh, name is in, uh, like, online, Neon Dark or whatever, he uh, he made these intros for me when I was in uh, 
seventh grade. We were in seventh grade, and then um, I just edited them so that we could uh, so that it did that really long loop. Actually, like right after I sent out the link for uh, for Ryan Hansen's stream coming to you soon on NBN CBC seven seven. <laughs> but yeah, I just really quickly threw that together, and I think it looks pretty good. I just took some music off of the YouTube library, the royalty-free stuff, and I'll be honest, I think I'm pretty impressed with it. It's pretty cool. Hang on, let's see if we can put on a beacon. Beacon. Yay. All right, our beacon's on now, guys. It is a official heavy haul special transport job here now. You put yeah. Oh no. Saw that coming. Jeez. Did you see that? Oh my gosh. So there you have it. That's why that's why this is so difficult because it's got such like it's, it's so wide. Oh no. Oh jeez. It's it's such a wide trailer, but you don't know like how wide it is because of your perspective on things, and then things just run on into it because it, the road's not wide enough. It's <laughs> yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right. Hang on. What's this? What's gonna happen here? Let's see what he does. All right. Looks like we're in the clear. <sighs> Jeez. This is so hard. Oh my gosh. If I was driving past, I'd be scared. Like, I'd be so scared. Because I, ju I just wouldn't want to come close to this, like, <laughs> to this cluster bomb. Oof. Pates, Neon! <laughs> uh, the live stream is going on. <laughs> Uh, we are, I am streaming right now. Uh, if someone wants to redirect him, then, uh, that'd be, that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> That's really funny, actually. Uh, like, what do you think he means by that? Just, like, he can't find it? Or just, like, oh, uh, Ryan, what happened? Like, why'd you, why'd you crash? Um, well, I didn't, I didn't crash on purpose, for the record. Okay, cool. And I'm not a bad driver in real life. <laughs> it's just I'm like slowly. Wait a second. Okay. So we have damaged the trailer, but not the truck, which kind of stinks because the truck. If you have damaged the truck, it's like less valuable than the trailer. I'm pretty sure, but but whatever. Because honestly, ten percent damage. I've done a lot worse. <laughs> I've done a lot worse to my trailers before, so I'm not too worried. What I am worried about is not hitting other cars as they come by, because that's not going to be fun if that ever happens again. Like, oh shoot, no, that's not a car. Yes, it is. Oh no. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Oh my gosh. Jeez. See, this, this is when I wish there was a, uh, a uh, instant replay feature here in Eurotruck Simulator, so I could just instant replay that and just see that that's that's so cool all right yes sorry muted my mic there <laughs> But yeah, we are in a Scania, which I think is my favorite like type of truck because it's like it's it's Squirrel likes it. If you know who Squirrel is, Squirrel he's a he's a guy who like plays games for a living. There's a lot of them, I guess now, but like Squirrel here, he's the guy that uh he 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 makes a living off of European Truck Simulator and uh no oh no here comes another one and uh like just other like simulation games. <laughs> See me uh, avoid that sign on the left there? That was pretty great. Alright. 
Here we go. Let's see our progress here. Two hours and three minutes left. All right, that's nothing. That is nothing. Anything anyone wants to hear about in the chat here, guys? Someone want to hear anything? Want me to say anything? <laughs> so I'm running out of things to talk about here. Oh, no. Here we go. Here he goes. Here he goes. Oh, my gosh. Holy crap. Oh, jeez. Oh, my gosh. You can see this, like, stack of cars that are just lined up behind me. Oh, my gosh. I'd feel so bad. Yeah, the logo does look like a, uh, it does look like a, um, like a Saab logo. That's pretty cool, actually. It's a Scania logo, though, so I, I wonder if Saab copied their logo off of Scania. Lol. That'd be, that'd be so, like, really? But I don't even know, like, maybe Saab was around before, uh, before Scania. I guess that'd be interesting to find out. Hey, so if you notice, there are only two windshield wipers on this vehicle. Which is pretty cool. But yeah. So that's why the other one's pretty cool, because it, it's I'm pretty sure it's the only one in the game that actually has three windshield wipers. Now if you notice, I'm taking turns unusually wide here. Just because I don't want to accidentally like crash into something. And I, I can see like in front of me that there's no one that's like, you know, coming at me. So I can just kind of boop and then boop. But that's pretty cool. We are going 30 miles an hour. But around 60 kilometers per hour? Kilometers per hour? I think it's called. Yeah, kilometers per hour. Here we go. All right. Turning right. This is like my favorite part about like truck simulators. It's just the turning. It's so fun. City driving's the best. Oh no. Oh no. Ah, uh, did you see that? Jeez. Oh my gosh. <sighs> I'll turn in my parking brake. This thing is so massive. Like I can't even like go around corners, guys. Rip Ryan. <laughs> Rip the special cargo. Oh my gosh. They need to airlift this bad boy. Alright. What's it say? We got an hour and 39 minutes left. So that's like, I don't know how long that is in actual time, but like, that's not too far, at least. Every time I'm doing this, I just think, geez, I'm so glad I'm not using like manual control on my pedal shifters that I use to control like the blinkers. But, uh, yeah. Cause if you notice, like, if you look at the rev counter, like, if you notice how much the thing's shifting, it's slightly unreal, actually. So, it's like, yeah. I think you'd want, like, a manual gearbox for this type of load, so you could have, like, the most control over it. But I feel like if you were doing, if you were using pedal shifters, that'd be kind of a rip in the chat. Because you'd just constantly be shifting, I'd think. A Ferrari, on the other hand, oh, please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Okay, we're good. All right, if you notice, if you look at the car in front of me, before a car, like, comes past me, it, like, scoots it over towards the, like, other side of the lane so that it tries not to hit me, which I think is pretty cool because you can just see, oh, see, he went, like, over the center line to, like, say, hey, car, stay away. And then it, it looks like it kind of veered over a little bit to avoid hitting me. You know what's funny is that when I've had like wider cargo than this, like on the interstate, or not the interstate, because I guess it's Britain, I don't know what it's called. I know Interpool is not the correct word, because that's like, I don't know what that is, Interpool. Um, <laughs> I feel like it's something to do with the police, but uh, I'd, I'd have to look it up to make sure. I have no idea, actually. Oh, here we go. Please don't kill me. Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. Did you see that? Holy crap. It's so close. Like, it's, it's like, unbelievably close. Full throttle now. Squat. 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 
RPMs are staying in the same place. <laughs> Slowly going up now. Okay. At least we weren't losing speed. That's always the worst. All right. 40 miles an hour. Pretty sure that's faster than 60, but at this point, I don't really know. I'm just trusting the car in front because he's, he's the one that makes sure that I'm not going over the speed limit. I just follow that guy. All right. Where are we going? All right. I'm going to slow down. This guy in front likes to uh, slow down way too fast, so uh, <laughs> just trying to uh, make sure I don't crash him. Yep, and there you go. Adopt your f speed to avoid a possible crash. So what I do is I just slow down, and then I wait for him, and I slowly go up. So I'm turning left here, it looks like. Ah, oh, listen to that. Oh yes. Full throttle. Like, would you ever, like, go, like, full throttle, like, actually on a, uh, like, in a real semi-truck? Like, I wonder. Like, I feel like you'd be going, like, like a quarter, th like, three-quarters throttle, maybe? But I don't know if you'd, like, ever do, like, full throttle. All right, so now we've got to wait here for the other guy. I wonder how much, how much, uh, gas we've, we've used already. All right, let's let's pull forward again. All right, let's go. Let us go, let us go, let us go, 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 go. Hey, so this is my second live stream ever. So this this is pretty cool. I'm pretty proud of myself, actually. Like, it didn't go as well as I thought it would go, you know, but, like, I mean, the, the, the front thing was, like, pretty cool, you know, where it was, like, 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 I think it was, like, five minutes worth of just, Ryan Hansen, I think it said hashtag awesome, too, somewhere in there, but, uh, I thought that was pretty cool that I managed to pull that off, which I'm pretty happy about. All right. And as you can see in my mirrors, like, this piece of cargo is way, it's way too wide for, like, any, like, actual, like, roadway. <laughs> it's just it's just really funny oh no here we go these these are my kind of roads right here where you can just kind of go like this and be like yo I'm still on the road but everything else is not all right so now i gotta wait for the car behind me to get behind me which i can't actually see because because uh well, i've got a massive piece of car going away all right, looks like we're getting off here at this exit, and then our uh, destination is coming up soon. Cambridge, London, Birmingham. Looks like we're going to Birmingham, guys. I didn't actually look at the destin. I didn't actually look at the destination we were going to, so that might have actually been helpful to know where we were going. But the nice thing about this is that we don't really have to navigate at all, which is pretty cool. All right, so going to merge here. Uh, I guess we're not merging. We're just following the uh, lines here. My Apple Watch is telling me to stand. <laughs> That's not happening. <laughs> All right. All right. The front car still has his blinkers on, so I will too. No, he doesn't. Okay. See, that's what you got to do to not hit the other side because it just overcorrects everything. Nick, what does cool mean? I'm so confused. Oh, I've hit the side. Because I was merging, and then it just went straight into the side there. Looks like I'm just going to have to pull it out. There we go. Come on. That's not going to work. That might work. There we go. Look at that. Hey, and if you want to see something cool, I can hit the U key. And look what happens. Yes. 
so then I can drive without that other axle, which probably gives me a lot less stability and a lot more of a chance of flipping over. But I think it's pretty cool that you can do that. I'm going to put it down now, actually. <laughs> I think it's probably another pressure thing, so if you spam that up and down and you're, like, moving and you need to brake suddenly, then, then you're just going to run into the person right in front of you. All right, here we go. So I'm trying to look at my other screen at the same time. That's over there on the chair next to me. I know, like, streamers have, like, generally have, like, double monitor set up so they can have their one game on one side, and they can glance over and look at the uh, other screen for, like, the chat and, like, like OBS and stuff. But everything is running off this computer, and I have no idea what OBS is doing to me right now. All right, merging over. I can see the other guy in my mirror. I'm going to try not to hit the side there because that would be bad. And it looks like we're arriving in Birmingham here. It's pretty cool. Did you know 38 mile, 48 miles an hour? I mean, <laughs> did you know 48 kilometers per hour is like the equivalent to like 30 in uh, U.S. miles per hour? Or, or it's like 25. I don't remember. But I know that... Uh, Actually, I can just look at here. Yep, it's 25. 25 miles an hour. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, so you can see the cop over there, actually. See the cop over there making sure that we can just cruise through anything we wanted to. If this was a red light, we could, we could just go right through it. So that's pretty cool. Looks like we're going to go through this one, too. It's funny not to hear the rain, that's kind of weird. I don't feel bad about taking up these lanes. Kind of kind of sure that they're actually like, no one's actually allowed on them while I'm actually on the road, so that's pretty cool. So I won't have to worry about traffic and stuff like that. So it looks like my destination is on the right here. Now what this car is going to do is he's going to go and he's going to block the traffic. Don't run into me, please. There we go. And you can see those construction guys over there. And no TV crew this time. But like it's 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 generally there are a lot of like like people that like entourage you around. And it's pretty cool. No, a little bit more. Parking brake. We're going to turn off the wipers. Turn off the lights. Uh, there we go. Uh, here we go. Wipers are off. And now, engine off. We're going to hit T. And we're going to look outside. Oh, okay. Reasonable. <laughs> Let's see how much money I lost. Oh. Ah, uh, well, that's fine. We lost 150 XP just from crashing, which kind of stinks, but whatever. We got a high-value cargo bonus and a tra trailer maneuvering bonus, which is basically just m pulling over and parking it right in that spot that sort of countered this. I don't know. This is like half my actual XP, so maybe I would have gone like over there. I don't know. That's a lot of XP that I lost, so that kind of stinks. Anyway, so yeah, that's what's up. What's this? I forget, do I actually have any people working for me here? Nope, I do not. I never know, I've got so many accounts. I, do, I never know if I've got like people like working for me, doing things. Yeah, it's just me. <laughs> 84,000 in the bank. I can... I've got uh, around like 90000 left to repay here. Eh, I could repay it, but I kind of think like as long as I'm not making some like big purchases, I just let it, let it stay in there and just I can forget about it. Photo studio. Watch it error me. Alright, so yeah, this is my actual truck here. 
Um, it's a Scania. Uh, I I don't know what it's actually called. Scania. Uh, what's that say? D four fifty. I think that's what it's called. But this thing's pretty cool. I'll be honest. I I really like this thing. And like when I when I drove it, like a. Uh, um. A. Uh, I completely forgot what it's called. Actually, a. Uh, one of those jobs where, uh, jeez, okay, well, anyway, I'm just gonna, uh, <laughs> probably stop it right there. Uh, thank you for watching. I'm, uh, I'm Ryan Hansen, and, uh, <laughs> see you in the next one. Thank you for watching, and have a wonderful rest of your day, and happy, uh, high school finals week for all you high schoolers. All right, this is Ryan Hansen signing off for right now. See you later. Adiós.